guys welcome back i am back i didn't go anywhere as far as videos go but i definitely was sick i got sick directly after coming back from vacation if you caught last week's video you already know that but i was sick for like 10 days and it took me a while to get over that sore throat and headache that i was having every day i was really tired and so yeah but i'm back i feel so much better and i'm happy to be here and healthy um, and speaking of health, there uh, is something I kind of want to chat about just for a minute before we get going into the video and talk a little bit about health just because it's something I'm really into, not just from being sick, but just something that I watched that really inspired me a few months back. My sister, who is very much into fitness, came over one day and showed me a documentary on Netflix that you might have caught already. It's called Live to 100. And it's about the people that live in the blue zones, which are areas in our world where people live to be 100 the most. So there's the most centurions living in these areas. I think I said that right. And it was sort of this weird push that I needed because previous to her coming over, uh, I had been starting to work out more and looking at just some of our diet and my vitamins and just wanting to be the healthiest for my age. I'm always thinking about that. I try to cook healthy as far as cooking at home and cooking whole foods. Um, it's not necessarily low fat that I cook, right? But it is uh, the best ingredients that I could buy. And like I said, I tried to eat whole foods and fermented foods and sourdough and those sorts of things. It was just like this random kick that I needed because I was sort of taking it um, halfway serious. I would get a walk in in the day at that point and do a workout maybe two or three times a week. Um, if I got to it, it wasn't a big deal, but I knew in the back of my mind I needed to do something further than what I was because as we get older, of course, if we don't, what do they say? If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it, <laughs> right? That's what my sister tells me anyway. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I just wanted to be healthier. And when she came over, it just really ignited this whole uh, desire to be healthier and to move more. And uh, so I wanted to share that documentary with you just because, you know, in our day to day lives, it's really important to take our health seriously. Um, and that doesn't mean that we need to be in the gym all the time. When they're talking about these blue zones, they're talking about not just physical activity, but also our mental state, our work state, um, and you know, even love and relationships are um, spoken about and how these people are so healthy. And so it's just really interesting. And if you're interested in uh, being healthier and being more inspired to be healthier, or maybe you need that kick like I did, I definitely would check it out. Um, it's, it's really good. And I've watched it probably three times and I'm gonna continue to watch it because sometimes you don't get the whole picture uh, when you're watching it the first or second or third Third time even sometimes you miss things and so they're talking about different places all over the world so it's not just one place so check it out um, so what I've been doing from that just to kind of share with you is I did share my health shake a couple weeks back with you and that had like things like collagen and protein and some vitamins and raw honey and whatnot in that but also and I try to drink that every day but also I've been doing a lot of walking um, and just looking at our diet and incorporating some of the foods that are listed on uh, these blue zones from that documentary and incorporating those into our life a little bit more. Something that I noticed during the course of being sick these past 10 days and something I've noticed before in my life is that I don't have a lot of grace for myself. And I bring this up because I think a lot of us can relate to this where we know that we have to get all of these things done in our houses or in our lives. And we sort of feel almost guilty to sit there and rest and find periods of rest even when we're sick. And so I have to keep reminding myself and I even try to teach my daughter to have grace for herself um, because it's really important, but I always try to remind myself rest is just as important as getting anything done is. And sometimes you can make yourself sicker by pushing through and continuing to do things even when you're not well. 
And I think that this is even true for when we're, we are well and we're just go, go, going and trying to get all these things done in our homes or for work or whatnot. Um, and I think it's important to just sit down sometimes and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just relax for a few minutes and allow ourselves that time. And so this is something that I'm also trying to incorporate is just allowing myself to sit down and put the work away or put, you know, the house stuff away for just a few minutes and enjoy a book. And so yesterday we went to the library again. And that's also something that I've talked about here. I love to have new books all the time to sort of keep me inspired. And my daughter really loves having her own books too to bundle up and read. So I'm gonna be taking some time today as well to just make some tea and allow myself to have rest in the middle of the day, which is not something I normally like to do too often. Usually I like to get a lot done before I allow myself rest time but it's just important and I think that it's it's something to consider as well for you if you're somebody that just kind of constantly in your head goes I have to do this what am I doing sitting here because I, I definitely am that type I try to do things very naturally in our home as you might have already realized that if you've been here for any length of time um, I do make a batch of elderberry syrup every single year I'm gonna be making some later today because it's just the perfect gloomy day to be in the house doing little projects like that and with the elderberry syrup I will leave a link in the description box below for my recipe for that and in the blog post that I wrote for it I also talk about how we drink it how, how often we drink it how we deal with illness with it um, and it's just a natural way to boost your immune system and it's a very simple thing to make at home anybody could make it I know it's available in like some health food stores and stuff but I always find that it's so much more expensive to buy it than it is to make it so if you're like me I don't like to pay top dollar for something I could make very easily at home and so that's what I'm going to be doing later on today um, and yeah so I hope that you enjoy just coming along today with me and I hope you enjoy the video and I want to thank you for being here elderberry syrup is a simple syrup to make consisting of dried elderberries water spices and raw honey The syrup is known to help boost the immune system naturally. The elderberry is steeped for several minutes and is finished by mixing in the raw honey at the very end. Each fall I make a large batch to have all winter long. I will share my recipe with you in the description box below.
stored in the fridge and taken daily to keep healthy. Okay, so I just came in from one of my walks. I like to walk several times a day and I do a total of 60 minutes of walking. So I'll do like 15 minutes at a time or 20 minutes at a time. And that was just one of my walks and I keep track with my little Apple iWatch. So that's super convenient. And now I wanna make a really good chai tea. This tea, if you've never made it at home, it's really kind of almost, I don't wanna say spicy, but there are a lot of spices in it. And it's really delicious and it's perfect for a really cold day. And so I will share the recipe for this in the description box below. And then after I'm done making the tea, I am gonna find a few minutes to look at some of my new library books. Tea is made with spices like cardamom, cinnamon, and cloves. I add cream later and a little raw honey. time to start dinner and tonight I'm making an American pot roast. I will leave a recipe for a beef bourguignon, which is very similar to American pot roast, only it's made with red wine. That is the only difference that I'm using in this recipe today.